The amphibious assault vehicle, commonly referred to as the AAV-7, was initially designated LVTP-7 by the U.S. Marine Corps and other users. This large amphibious tracked vehicle was designed to transport troops onto open beaches, necessitating its ability to function in water and accordingly sized. Created to replace the LVTP-5 series, the prototype of the LVTP-7 emerged in 1967, and production began between 1970 and 1971. In 1985, it was renamed the AAV-7. By the time production ceased, over 1,500 units had been manufactured, serving not only the U.S. Marines but also being exported to seven other countries, including Argentina, Brazil, Italy, South Korea, Spain, and Thailand. Originally, it was planned that the AAV-7A1 amphibious assault vehicle would be succeeded by a next-generation amphibious combat vehicle. The Expeditionary Fighting Vehicle was developed for this purpose, but it wasn't adopted by the U.S. Marine Corps due to funding issues. As a result, the aging AAV-7S continued to be used. The plan is for refurbished and upgraded AAV-7S to remain operational until 2035. With a crew of three, commander, gunner, and driver, the AAV-7 features a spacious troop compartment capable of accommodating up to 25 Marines or around 4,500 kilograms of supplies. Troops are seated on benches, and entry-slash-exit can be achieved through a large rear-mounted ramp or roof hatches. The AAV-7 is launched from amphibious assault ships and is self-deploying. Its primary purpose is to enter semi-aquatic areas forcefully, spearheading beach landings and securing coastlines for follow-up troops. After landing, the AAV-7 can operate alongside other armored vehicles, performing tasks like checkpoint guarding, patrolling, and transporting troops and supplies further inland. Built with a welded aluminum armor hull, the AAV-7 offers protection against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. Additional armor can be added using a kit. However, it has been found to be susceptible to landmines and improvised explosive devices in recent conflicts. Equipped with a small turret, the AAV-7 was originally armed with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun. This was later upgraded to include a 40mm automatic grenade launcher on the improved AAV-7A1 model. While there were tests with heavier turrets mounting 20 or 30 mm cannons, these were ultimately not adopted. The AAV-7's engine is located at the front and was initially powered by a Detroit Diesel 8V53T turbocharged diesel engine producing 400 horsepower. Later models used a Cummins diesel engine. For water propulsion, it employs two water jet units at the rear or the tracks can be used for propulsion. Its seaworthiness is rated up to Sea State 3. Variants of the AAV-7 include the AAV-7A1, which is an improved late production model featuring a new Cummins diesel engine, night vision devices, upgraded weapon station controls, improved ventilation, and other enhancements. The AAVR-7 is a recovery vehicle equipped with a jib crane and recovery equipment. Various mine clearing versions, an amphibious light tank prototype, LVTH-7, and upgraded versions like the AAV-7 survivability upgrade and the South Korean-produced KAV-7A1 are also notable variants.